just consider it displays me as someone who knows more and better than you. And thus I can say, do this, do that. You may not have thought of doing that. It doesn't make any difference. I know better. So it's, uh, it's an exercise of human will, putting down the other person by saying, in effect, I'm the one who knows what's what. If you look at the internet, it's absolutely chock full of advice of all the things that we're supposed to do that we're not doing. But people have always wanted, always wanted to have uh, a chance to tell others all they know. I so treasure freedom. Uh, I'm, I'm a very bad person when it comes to taking advice from others. And I'm getting advice galore. So I thought to myself, what is going on? Why, number one, why is it that I don't like uh, being given advice? And two, why is it that people persist in doing it? And this came out. I don't make decisions for anybody. Uh, I don't make decisions for my family. I don't make this. I only make decisions about for, about myself and for myself. So, and that it's not selfishness. It's uh, it, it's self limitation. Students ask me, "What am I to do?" And my answer is, "Well, what do you think you should do?" And they don't notice that I'm not saying anything. I'm I'm just wanting to elicit from them what they already think. And most of the time, it's not a problem. They already decided what to do. They may not know they've decided what to do, but there, there it is. And, uh, and, and they go away sometimes, if I'm lucky, they go away with a feeling, you know, that was such a good conversation in which, to which I attributed nothing, contributed nothing but questions.